welcome to all of you on the channel math with munir i hope that you all are doing great and watching my videos in my previous video we have talked about functions and we have learned the graphical way and also the mathematical way where we can get to know that whether an expression is a function or not so what do i am going to do now in this video we are going to carry on with that topic and we will learn about its features or characteristics so i would recommend for all of you who are watching my channel for the first time i would recommend them to please find the mention link in description and watch that video first before coming to this one because that video is a prerequisite of this one and i of as i often said that ma mathematics is a very linear process what do i mean by that the topic that we are studying now it's going to be used somewhere so if you are struggling with the current topic or if you are not getting the concept it means that you didn't learn the prerequisite well so that is why it is important for you to get to know that into about introduction to function and then you can come back to this video so what we are going to learn today in functions we will talk about in functions we will talk about its feature like even function even functions then odd functions and then neither even nor odd and then we will talk about domain and range of a function as well so in particularly what we are going to emphasize on we will learn the graphical way as well i mean uh, it's not always the case that where you will have a function y is equals to f of x and you have been given some values and then you will get to know that whether a function is even or odd but what we can do now we will also learn the graphical way that what do happen when a function is even when the function is odd and when the function is neither even nor odd so well first we will we will learn about the definition of a even function a function is said to be an even function a function is said to be an even function when f of minus x is equals to f of x when f of minus x is going to be equals to f of x so i am going to explain the definition of an even function with the example and then we will learn the graphical way as well let's assume that let's assume that we have a function f of x where f of x is equals to x square a very simple example let's assume that we have a function f of x is equals to x square and the definition says you are going to plug in minus x instead of x so this is what we are going to do minus x on both side so f of minus x we know that we have in a even power over here so this minus will be positive so f of x is equals to x squared so this x square is basically your f of x so we got that by replacing x is equals to minus x we have come to this conclusion f, where f of minus x is equals to f of x so we can say that this function is an even function so let's understand the graphical way as well so what will be the graph of y is equal uh, f of x equals to x square it would be a parabola in this direction upward u so for all those function who are even they are going to be symmetric along y axis so you know that this is your y axis so if you look at the graph of y is equals to x square you will realize that on this y axis the graph on right hand side and graph on the left hand side is exactly going to be the same it's like a mirror so all those function who are even function they are symmetric along y axis so i'm going to give you another quick example let's assume that we have another function f of x equals to 3 f of x equals to 3 so replace x with minus x you will come to the same situation so this is your actually your f of x 
So, for now all the constant all the constant number are the examples of even function. So, let us understand the graphical way. So, this is 1, this is 2 and here you go this is 3. So, for 3 you will have a straight line like this. So, again this is your y axis and if you look at the graph of y is equals to 3 or f of x equals to 3, you will see that on both side of the y axis we have the same thing. So, this y axis line is basically uh, showing up as, an, as a mirror. So, we will say that this is also an even function. So, what we what we have learned so far that we have learned the mathematical way where how we can get to know that whether a function is even or odd function and we have also talked about and we have also learned about the graphical way. Let us take another example. Let us assume that if your function f of x is something like 4 x 4 plus 7 x 6. If you look at this example carefully, you will realize that over here the power of x is even and over here the power of x is also even. Alright. So, plug in x as minus x according to the definition. This and then one, once we simplify this, we will get 4 x 4 over here we will get 7 x's because 4 and 6 both are the even number. So, this minus is going to be positive. So, what we come to know from this example that if the, the power of a variable in the expression that you got as in a question, if those powers are even number. So, the function is always going to be an even function and please do not forget that even functions are always symmetric along y axis. So, now let us come to the this is what we have learned. So, now let us come to the another point which is odd function. So, what are odd functions? So, according to the definition a function is said to be an odd function if f of minus x is going to be minus of f of x exactly the same procedure that we have applied in earlier, earlier case. So, now let us consider the example of uh, f of x is equals to let us say it is x cube, it is x cube. Now, replace x with minus x, replace x with minus x on both sides. We know that we have now an odd power. So, this minus is not going to be positive, but it will come outside and this x cube is basically your f of x. So, this is a mathematical way or we, we, we can say that we have calculated that f of x is equal to x cube is an odd function. So, let us talk about the graph of an odd function. Let us assume that we have a graph of uh, x cube like this and it is like this. So, all those functions who are odd function they are always going to be symmetric along the origin alright. So, this is your origin. So, if you look at the graph, if you look at the graph on this side in the first quadrant and on the third quadrant they are almost same pardon me for my drawing my drawing is not that good enough but still so if you look at the graph on both side on the first quadrant and on the third quadrant you will see that they are exactly the same so it means that all those functions who are odd function they are going to be symmetric along origin let's take another example and uh, now this time i'm going to give you a quick test I am going to draw a graph and now you all are going to predict whether the graph that I am drawing over here is an even function 
or odd function. This is a graph, this is your y axis, this is your x axis. So, now I am giving you some time to think about it whether this graph, the graph that I have plotted over here is an even function or an odd function. Please do not forget that I told you that all those functions who are even functions, they are going to be symmetric along y axis and odd functions, they are going to be symmetric along origin. So, if you look at this graph carefully, you will realize that this is your origin. So, graph on the first quadrant and on the third quadrant are exactly symmetric. So, we will say that yes, this graph is an odd function and we, we can come to the equation y is equal or f of x is equal to x. The graph that I have plotted over here in this example is of this equation f of x equals to x or y equals to x. <coughs> All right. So, now let us take another example. Let us assume that now we have f of x equals to 7 x cube plus let us say 5 x. Like the trick that I told you in the in the case of even function, if the power of the variables are even, the function is going to be an even function or if the power of the variables are odd, then it is going to be an odd function. And if we have a mix even, if we have the combination of both even and odd, it means that the function will be neither even nor odd. So, let us solve this one. Replace x with minus x, it will become minus 7 x cube and then minus 5 x. You can take minus common. So, you see this is exactly your f of x and here we have minus and here you go. This is the result. So, it means that this function is an odd function. All right. So, now quickly let us take another example in which we are going to learn about a function whether it is even or odd or neither both. Okay. Now, this is what we have got now. If you look at the power of the variable in these three terms, you will realize that here we have even, here we have odd and here we have odd as well. So, it is basically the combination of both. So, let us see what we are getting in results once we are replacing x with minus x. this will become positive and this will become negative and this will become negative due to this 3 this minus will this minus it will make it positive. So, 7 x. So, now if you look at this term 4 x square 4 x square it is positive 3 x over here is positive and 3 x over here is negative and 7 sorry 7 x cube over here is negative and over here is positive. So, even if I if so it means that this is not an even function because the signs are different. So, if I am going to take the minus common, so this will become minus, this will become plus and this will become minus as well. So, now again the signs are changed. So, f of f of minus x is not equal to f of x. So, the function is not even and f of minus x is also not equals to minus of f of x. We have learned that in, in from these two steps. So, it means that this function is neither an even or nor order. So, if you are sitting for your exam, so you can quickly get to know by looking at the po powers of the variable and you can identify whether a function is an even or odd or neither both. All right. So, let we are going to now what we are going to do now we are going to learn about the domain and range. So, let us consider an example of a function f of x which is x square minus 4. 
please make sure that you should not get um, you should not get a complex number inside of the square root. So, if you are getting a number which is having a negative sign inside of the square root, it means that you are going to exclude that number. All right. So, if I take x equals to 0, 0 square will be 0, it will give me minus 4. So, it means that I can't take 0. So, if I take 1, 1 square will be 1, 1 minus 4, again it will give me a negative number. So, if I am going to take 2, 2 square will be 4, 4 minus 4 will be 0 or 3, 4, it means that 2 and the number that are bigger than 2, I, I can take that. So, let because the real number, the real line always have positive number and also the negative number. So, we have just learned that we can take any number including 2 and bigger than 2. So, what about the negative number? All right, uh, minus 1 you can't take because you are going to get the negative number again inside of square root. How about minus 2? Minus 2 square will be 4 and 4 minus 4 is going to give you 0. So, it means that that's possible. So, we will write all real number all real number except minus 1, 0 and 1. So, how to write it that way? So, domain domain will be, so you will write from minus infinity to minus 2 from this side it should be open from minus infinity to union from 2 to positive infinity. So, what does it mean by that? So, from here it is close alright. So, from here the interval is close it means that minus 2 is the last number that you are going to take you cannot take minus 1 alright. You cannot take minus 1. So, from here the 2 is closed it means that 2 is the last number that you are going to take in a domain for this function you cannot take number less than 2 and you can move on up to infinity. So, what will be the range? what will be the range? So, range of this function will be all real number, all real number. So, I hope that you got this video. So, if you got this video, please do not forget to subscribe and share, it might help many.